Good evening all. Good evening all. You're welcome to the tutorials with Farm Eternity the School Boy. Today we'll take a look at mathematics review assignment five. The solution to the assignment given yesterday. As usual, come out one by one, pick a question, then solve it on the board for us. And that come out. Fast, fast. Pick your question. Wait. Close your eyes. Are you close your eyes? All right, come, 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 come and pick your question here. This side. Question number six. Oh, yeah, take Maka. Go to the board. Take Maka. What, what did what Jesus do? I right, go, go, go fast, fast. No time, no time. Let's solve it. Is somebody the first come and solve it? No, solve, solve. Do, do, do the ones you can do. Don't waste time so that we know, we know, we, we move on. Do, do the ones you can do. Just do the ones you can do. If you need help, you know. Don't give up. Be doing. You don't know it. Let's not waste our time. She doesn't know it. Now look up. You guys can see that. Look up, please. I can't see you are far. Come on. Oh. Michael, come closer. Sit here so I can. We can have co 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 coherence here. This one will get it, don't worry. Let's have co coherence. Sit here so we can be together. So I don't shout, okay? Now look at this. We have we are giving log 4.4 to be 1.4816. Log 7.7 to be 2.017142. Then they want us to find log 7 over 4. There's something I want you to know. Eh? There's some there's something I, I want you to know. Are you aware that 7.7 .7 over 4.4 is equal to 7 over 4? Are you aware? It is called equivalent fraction. It's called what? Equivalent fraction. This 7 over 4 is the equivalent fraction of 7.7 .7 over 4.4. .4. Now, in equivalent fraction, equivalent fraction are fractions that have the same, the same value, irrespective of the magnitude of the numerator and the word denominator. These are what we call what equivalent what fractions. They are fractions that have the same value. Equivalent fractions are two fractions or more fractions that have the same value, irrespective of the word, the magnitude of the word, the numerator and the word denominator. Look up. Look up. Two, one over two is sent in with two over four. Are you aware? It's also the same thing with it's also the same thing with with uh, four over eight. Are you aware? It's also the, it's also the same thing with forty-four over eight eight. Are you aware? Are you aware? It's also the same thing with four point four over eight point eight. Are you aware? These things, they have the, the same value. And how do we get an equivalent fraction of another fraction? Simply multiply, if you multiply the 
numerator and the denominator of a fraction by the, by the same number, you will get equivalent fraction. Or if you divide the numerator and the denominator of a fraction, of, of a common fraction, by the same number, you get what? An equivalent what? Fraction. This equivalent fraction, see, see what this, this, this 77, this 7, 7 over 4 went through to produce this 7.7 7, 7 over 44, or over, over 4.4. 4. Watch out. First of all, this is the original fraction. First of all, this one will, will, will multiply the numerator and the denominator will multiply by 10. To give what? To give what? Sorry, by 11, sorry. The, the same number. To give what? 7, 7 over what? 44. They were also divided. Divided. By 10 again. Divided by what? By 10 over 10 again. That means you divide the numerator by 10 and divide the denominator by, by the same 10. You get what? 7.7 7 over what? 4.4. 4. That's why they are what? The same thing. The equivalent fraction. So if you able to establish that, you have solved this question. So this log 7 over 4 is simply, is simply, what do you mean, So having established that they are what? A, equivalent. So 7.7 7 over 4.4 4 is the same thing with what? So you can actually replace log 7 over 7 with what? Log what? 7 point what? 7 what? 4.4. 4. Then if, 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 if that is the case, you are, you are good, good, good to go. Using the law of logarithm, this, this is certain as saying log 7.7 7 is certain as saying log what? 7.7 7 to base 10, right? Minus what? Log what? 4.4 4 to base 10. Simple. Just subtract this from this and get the answer. What's your, what's your, have you done that? What's the answer? 0. what? 5326. What's the option there? A. Option A. Is it clear? Eh? Is it clear? All right, thank you. Next person, come and pick your quick question. I think that should change. Up I have a colonial name. Come, come, come on, pick your question. Fast, fast, fast. It's a number 10, oh yeah? Because don't worry, I will. Because number 10 says, don't worry, I will, I will call it for you, don't worry. Because number 10 says, sorry. Clean the board now. Okay. Clean here. Okay, if, if 25, if 25 raised to the power 1, x minus 1 is equal to 64 in bracket 5 over 2 raised to the power 6. six uh, then find x. Find s. Your time starts now. We have two minutes to solve that question. That, that question is simple. The board will follow. Hold it well. Now look up, please. Let's not know what's up. Right, come. Come on. Come 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 on. Sir. We have two minutes, please. Let's see what you did. Five twenty-five raised to the power x minus one sixty-four. Okay. 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 Five raised to the power two. So starting from here, we have twenty-five. Which power x minus 1 is equal to what? 64 watts. 
64, 5 over 2 raised power 6. Remember that 2 raised power 5 is what? 32, right? So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 times 2 is what? 4. 4 times 2 is what? 8. 8 times 2 is what? 16. 16 times 2 is what? 32. 32 times 2 is what? 64, which is 2 raised to the power what? 6. So actually, you can represent 64 with what? 2 raised to the power 6. That's what she did. Is it clear? So that means we can, this can actually be, look like this. Minus 1. 25 raised to the power S minus 1 can actually be what? 2 raised to the power what? 6 in brackets. Two, two raised power six in bracket. Yes, five over two raised power what? Six. Out together. Out together. So if, if that is the case, here, here, let's finish here first. This twenty-five raised to power s minus one can actually be what? Remember that this power belong to what? Five and two. Hope you know. So that, so this can also look like this. Two raised power six dot times what? 5 raised to power 6 over what? 2 raised to power 6. Hope you know. Are you aware? Eh? Are you following? So that means this can do what? Cancel this. So this one has gone. So you, you can actually have what? 25 raised to power s minus 1 can actually go to what? 5 raised to power 6. So you put this, in, this 25 to be in the same place with this 5. So you have 25 is 5 raised to power 2, right? So we have 5 raised to the power 2, x minus 1 is equal to what? 5 raised to the power 6. So 5, because they are the same base, 5, 5 will go. So we work with the powers. So let's look at the power here. 2 in bracket, x minus 1 is equal to what? 6. All together. All together. If you want, you can simply divide it or open the bracket. Anyone you do is okay. Let's say this is 2. This is what? 2 is equal to what? 6. Therefore, 2x is equal to what? 6 plus 2 is equal to what? 8. Therefore, s is equal to what? 8 over 2, which is what? 4. That's what she did. Is it clear? Is it clear? Good. Oh, yeah, Michael, come, come and pick your question. So, the answer is what? What's the answer in the option? Option what? Huh? B. Question 5. Okay. Question 5 says, What is the number whose logarithm to base 10 is bar 2.3482? Option A, 223.6. Option B, 0 0.2228. Option C, 2.235. Option D, 0 0.02229. You didn't solve it. Who help him? Any, 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 anybody else? Come and try. Can, can see. Huh? Huh? Come and solve it on the board. Fast. Our can see. Our can see is back. Our can see is back. Uh huh. I have clean the board and solve it. You can start. My, 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 my. Our currency is finally back. Uh -huh. It remains our chain. Bring back our chain. Also, all right. Solve now. Okay, as you call it the question. Okay, it says, what is the number whose logarithm to base ten is two points? Sorry, bar two. Point two three, sorry, by two point three four eight two. Sorry, three four eight two. All right. Explain what you did. Uh -huh. 
Speaker, 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 so, 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 we can, we can, we, we can, we can hear you. So I did tell us to come about 2.3 for us to post. Okay. And this is about 2.3 for us to send it to us. Then it's 2.3 for us to send it to us. Okay. So I sold, then it's 2.0 for us to send it to us. Then it's 2.0 for us to send it to us. Okay. So I did tell us to come about 2.6 for us to send it to us. Okay. So then it's about 2.6 for us to send it to us. Okay, you punch your calculator. Ah. Is it correct? Huh? She's correct. Is it in the option? Option what? Are you sure? Check well. Zero point what? Zero point zero. I got, I have zero point zero zero point zero two 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 nine here, but she got zero point zero zero point. Huh? It was zero point zero. <laughs> the answer is what? And she got it to is what? Is what zero point what? Zero zero. Two two yes, it's, it's, it's zero point zero two. You can solve this with a calculator, but what if there's no calculator? What are you going to do? Who can tell? Huh? You say what? You say she saw with a calculator. How? She points at she points at a calculator here. There's, there, there's no way you can solve this one with a calculator. At this point now you must use a calculator. She points at the calculator. Who can tell us any 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 other way you, you can solve it without using a calculator? You don't have to use your word for figure word table. You can use your word, but what it did is not that. But in the situation whereby you will not be, you will not allow to use calculator. What are you going to do? In that case, now this method, we, we, you have issue here. Am I complicating? So simply, what you do if we want to use your log table, what you do is this. Watch out, watch out. You are told that log, if log s to base ten is this, simply. Find the antilog of this, okay? Simply find the what? Antilog of this. This bar two here doesn't really contribute much to the what? To the what? Figure digit that will be there. It doesn't really contribute that bar two there doesn't really contribute much to the what? The digit that will appear there. What will contribute is what? If we are the decimal point, we we'll do, we'll do what? We we'll what? B okay, so if you want to use your anti anti log table simply without wasting time, this is how to solve questions sharp sharp without wasting time in the exam hall. Simply go straight, bam, find the anti log of this 34 under a difference. What two? Once you find it, once you, you, you once you do it, you just use this bar to put the what shift the decimal point two times two places to the left, you get your answer. Okay, simple. Okay, uh -huh. so let's assume you have that if you check your, your anti anti log table 34 to base 34 under 8, difference 2 will give you around 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 9. This is what it will give you. Okay, if you check 34 under 8, you have Two two eight two two what two 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 eight. Then if difference two, we will give you one. If you add it up, you have what two 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 nine. So because of that now, just put one because of these two bar one zero here and what decimal point and you are good to go. Had it been here is one bar, simply do decimal point and you are good to what. Go. Is it clear? Is it clear? Good. He put zero point zero zero two two nine. Okay. Okay. Um. Can see ya. Take your questions.
Question what is that? Question three. Question three. Question three says. Question three says. Simplify. Simplify. Five raised to the power x. Five raised to the power x times twenty-five raised to the power x minus one. All over one twenty-five raised to the power x minus one. Sorry, x plus one. Sorry. Oh yeah, your time start now. Okay, let's see what what you did. Tell us what you did. See the question. Okay, oh yeah. Five raised to the power x times twenty-five raised to the power x minus one. Okay. Twenty-five. Same thing. Five raised to the power. Five raised to the power. Okay. I I I are you following her? Uh huh. Continue. Five raised to the power x minus one. Okay. And one to five is the same thing. Five raised to the power. Okay, five times five, twenty-five to five times. Okay, I agree. Okay. Okay. So we now add this. You now, add. Yes. Okay, continue, huh? So now be five raised to power x plus two x minus two. All over five raised to power three x plus three. Okay, continue. Are you done? I continue. Uh huh. So x plus two x is three x minus two. All over five raised to power three x plus three. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you subtract. Okay. So now the five raised to the power three s minus two in bracket minus three raised to the power s plus three. Okay. If you open the bracket, to be five raised to the power three s minus two minus three raised to the power minus three x minus three. Okay. So the five raised to the power three s minus three x minus two minus three is five raised to the power three s. Okay. Okay, this this is zero, right? Mm -hmm. So we have minus two minus three. Okay. So the, the answer is what? Five square minus five. Is it in the option? Is, is that what you got? Huh? Is that what you got, Ada? Is that what you got? But uh, have you seen the where you where you made a mistake? I want to know your name. Where? Here. Uh, from there. From there. But you got you. Uh, and from here now look here is already five five x. Five raised to the power x plus two s minus two. S plus s is s plus two s is three s now. So this is this why is it now saying five raised to the power three s minus two. Hmm? Because s plus two s is what? Three s. Look at it here. This one is still five raised to the power what? 3s plus what? 3. So he at the point now, remember your law of indices. She she took only one five. Then this minus this. Two of us. That's what she did here. And she opened the brackets and collected the items and arrived here. Is it clear now? Huh? Huh? Because here now 3s minus 3s is what? Zero. Minus two minus three is what? Minus five. So the answer is what? Five raised to the power minus five. Is it clear now? Huh? Good. Okay. Uh, Adoya, come and pick your question. Another question. It's no, it's you. It's Michael. It's you. Come and pick your question. Why call you Michael? You I picked. Okay, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I pick your question? I see Michael. <laughs> see it. Can I pick it from here? Number nine. Okay, number nine says, take marker. Please clean, clean, clean the body. The body is too distant. Clean, clean, clean it before, before, before we continue. The question says, in bracket, right? In bracket, open a bracket. 1.28 times 3 to the power 4. 
bracket closed divided by open another bracket 6.4 times 8 to power 2 and solve. So topic is indices. Not in, just use law of indices to solve that thing. Even that number, your number, large number you are creating in indices, use law of indices to solve that question. That is, is nothing but law of indices and simple and the simple division, simple. I, I don't even need, need, need to raise my pen. I'll just tell you the answer to that question. Sir. I explained what you did. I know. Explain what you did. Okay, look up, look up, look up. Look up. Out together. Out together. Look up, please. Look up. See, this thing doesn't need you to start wasting your time on this thing. As I said, I don't even need to. Okay, let me just look up, please. This is 1.28 times what? 3 square what? 4. Over what? 6 point what? 4. Times 3 square what? 2. Are we together? Good. Now, now, watch. You don't have any issues here. Okay? Look at this. Are they related? This is the first thing you should, you, you, you should look at. Do they have any, any, anything in common? If you watch, it just, with, with the exception of decimal point, position, position of the decimal point, this thing is, is just half of this. Hope you know. Are you aware? This is half of this, if not for the position of this decimal point. If the decimal point enters in now, it becomes 12.8. This will become half of this. Are you aware? Multiply 6.4 by, by 2. It's 12.8. So what you do here is let this decimal point do, do what? Enter here. And once you move here, if, if, if it moves here, this thing will reduce. All right, together. This will reduce to what? 3. So see what you have here. 1 point. 12 point what? 8 times 3 power what? 3. Over what? 6.4 times 3 power what? Times 3 power what? 2. All right, together. That is what it is. So you can handle this separately and do this what? Separately. Handle the index form, index part what? Separately. Using law of what? Indices. This moves here. And see this decimal point move to the right. This power will do what? Decrease. As it move again to the right, the power will do what? Come down. Watch out. See, see what I'm talking about. This is 1.8 times what? 4. Watch out. As it move, we have 12.8 times 3 power what? 3. As it move again, we have 128 times 3 power what? 2. Out together. As it move again, 0 will enter here. Times 3 power what? 1. As you move again, it's another zero enter here. We have 12, 0, 0, 0. 12, 7, 8. I will, I will together. I just, just want you, you use it to, we call this in decimal what? Movement. Decimal what? Movement. As decimal movement, in decimal movement, at decimal point, move to the right. At decimal point, move to the, move, move to the right. The power, the power, the power 
will, increase, will, 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 will decrease by what? One. Okay? Each time, there's one, there's one movement. How, one decimal movement to the right. I'm seeing something important now on how to solve things like this. Nobody putting it down. As the decimal movement, decimal point moves to the right, one movement will reduce the power to by what? One. As you move again, the power will reduce by one. This, this, this is what you have been doing here. To the right, you move, it, it reduces by one. To move again, it reduces by one again. To move again, this, this, this is what you call what? Decimal what? Movement. So with that, let's solve this, this question. We moved it here and came to this place. We have what? 12.8. Okay? Now, if you divide 6.4 times 2 is what? 12 for 8. Two of us. So simply divide this by this. We have what? This one is 3 to the power 3 minus what? 2, right? So we have what? 2 times 3 to the power what? 1, which is what? Option what? Is it 2, two options again? Into 2. Ah. Let me check. That, that must be an error. Let me confirm. That's what? 2 times 3 is 4 are 1. Which is seven as what? 20, good. Which is, which is seven as what? 20. Any question there? Guys, what, what do you get when you solved it? You just, what do you get, Michael? 2. You, you push your right up. You follow this, this, okay. You, so what, what, what did you get? Um, that, can you, can you, maybe, maybe it's a too. Is that what you solve here in your notes? The assignment, go, go. Twenty. Okay, you want to see what you have Huh? Huh? Hey, I say, even if you missing where, 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 where you're something not on the board. No. I ask you if you solved it correctly. You said you, you showed me where you solved it from here. I'm not asking you again. Was is it on the board you made the mistake? Was this is two now you, you wrote? Uh, that what I, what I want. I, want to, I, I thought maybe that's what you got originally in your book. So I want to know where the mistake came from. All right, so, uh, Chin, why come on? Fast, 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 fast. Come, come, come and pick your question. Question what? Two. Oh, yeah, take marker. Question two says, if x to base 10, if x to base 10, is equal to 1, 2, 1, 4 to base 5. 2, 1, 4 to base 5. Find x. That's question what? 2. And you got what? 1, 8, 4. Let's see. Okay, she moved. This one is already in base 10, right? If I is holding base 10. This in your area is, is unnecessary because it's holding base 10. Because you are, you are moving this one to base 10. So this, this, this one is holding what? Base 10. Simple. So just move, move this one to what? Base 10. Okay. Okay. 5 raised power 3. 5 raised power 2. 5 raised power 1. 5 raised power 0. Okay. 4. 4, 5. 125. Please always use this bracket to avoid confusion. Please. It's very important. This is this. Plus 5 to plus. This is this belongs to this one. One. Okay, one, okay, five. Okay. I agree with you. 50, 125, 189. 
174, 175.184. Okay, X is what? 184. If you like, you can also move this one to base. That is it. You can also move, move this one to base what? Five, okay? Okay? Even though, if you like, you can move this one to base five and divide and, divide and get your answer straight. That, this, that one says it's even simpler. Self. Move this to base five. Move X to, to, in base 10 to base five. But it, it will warrant you to start dividing in base five, which I don't know whether you, you may have an issue with that one. Anyway, it's not that simple because it, it makes you to start dividing in base five. But it's okay, anyone you do it, base 10 is, is easier. All right, so the answer is what? Why, or do we try it? No time. Let's see it on that day. So the answer is what? Is what? One what? 84. See. Uh, um, mark it fast, fast, fast. Fast. Number one. It says if 314 to base 10 minus 256 to base 7 is equal to 340 to base x, find x. Fast. Okay, let me repeat the question. It says if 314 to base 10, and I, and I don't like this melody, if you are get up, don't sit like, like, like that in my class. It distracts me. Get up and walk around, okay? If 314 to base 10 minus 256 to base 7 is equal to 340 to base x, find x. What do you get? You got 5. You see, it's 5 in the option. Let me see where it's all going. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Yes. You got what? Five. So two of you got five, five. And five, there's no five in, 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 the, in the option. Comes, let me see where it's all going. Let me see. I don't That's why you say not this rough. Okay. Hmm? Okay. So where we are this rough? When I I, I I thought I, I told you to copy your assignment first in your note and solve it. That was that's the instruction I gave. I said copy your assignment to your note and solve it. That that's what I said. So why 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 didn't you do it, do it like that? I can't see. You are, looking, you are looking for my trouble. I want to let this again. Solve it in your note. Write it in your note and solve it. Don't use rough. Do you hear me? Are you done? Is it what? You want, you want to check your notes? Oh yeah, now check, check, check your notes now. Fast. Our star boy or star girl is someone that came out here, solved and got the answer without going back to check anything. That's our star girl. Once you check, once you check, who told you said not check anything? You checked. Huh? That's our star girl. Once you come out here and go back, we have lost it. Because you aren't supposed to, because in exam hall, there's no note for you to go and check. Two of us, you solve it by yourself. Can't see with her one target, but, but, but she went and She lost confidence in what she was doing. I went and took something. You.
Huh? You, you, you don't be coming out here. You make, make, make me take off and down. Learn it. That's what. That's why it's part of. It's part of. It's part of. It's part of it. Learn it. Hmm. Is it because um, success is not here? Hmm. That they, they are making mistakes. <laughs> yeah, you are five point six. Oh yeah, Michael, what's going on? Continue, continue solving now, unless you want to give up. Are you giving up? Michael is giving up. Child. I would have called you to solve, but you are getting to solve what I don't know, two of you. I don't, I don't know where you got five from. Huh? I don't know where you got five from. And Michael actually was, Michael actually, he was actually getting it too. He, he got here and I became confused. Since we have arrived here, that 175 is equal to 3s squared plus 4s. Simply move this thing here, it becomes equal to zero. As 175 comes here, it becomes minus what? 175. So it's actually what? It's actually this. Because this, this is 175 is equal to 3s squared plus 4s. So this 175, we, we, our mission is to equate this into what? Zero. So this we enter here. This we cross the equal sign. You have that zero is equal to what? Three s squared plus four x minus what? One seventy five. That implies that three s squared plus four s is minus one seventy five is equal to what? Zero. There's something. There's one thing people miss in this corporate equation in factorization. Look up. And people, people, a lot of people make, make that mistake. And after, after making the mistake, they won't know how to, how to factorize again. Look up. In factorization, the first thing to do is to use the coefficient of the highest power to multiply the constant. Or simply, for if you are, you, are, you, are, you are very good in what you are doing, just simply use the highest power. The one with highest power, everything here, to multiply the what? The what? The constant. Then, you then find two factors of that product, product two factors of the, of the product, that when you add them, it will give you the one at the what? Middle here. Is it clear? That's what the best thing to do. But if, because if here is x squared only, that means you just simply multiply this by what? One, okay? One, uh, one M, simply by, multiply by X squared, right? But because it is three, so what you do is you multiply, I don't want to confuse you, let me just use the, 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 the what is it called? The coefficient alone, but actually it should be everything. Actually it should be what? Everything. See how it goes. It should be, 3s squared times 175. And you have what? 3 times 175 is what? 5 what? 5 what? So you have 5 to 5 what? S what? Squared. This is what it should be, actually. Then you, but you remember there's minus here, right? Minus what? 5 to 5 S squared. So you look for factors of this minus 5 to 5 S squared that if you add them, they will give you plus 4x, four four and if you know your number well, you will find out that the factors are simply, the factors that you can add, they give you plus 4s is 25x and minus 21x. 25x, just multiply 25x times minus 21x to give you minus 525x squared. So if you do that, you get this. Now, you now use that factors. The factors are now what? Plus what? 
25 what? X minus and minus what? 21 X. Use it to replace this 4 X. And you are good to go. But it, as you are replacing it, align the way so that you know, you know that if you carry 25 and foot here, you can you cannot fertilize it. I hope you know. Because 3 can, 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 cannot, cannot divide 25. But 3 can divide 22 uncomfortably. So you, you can't give this one and put close to what? 3x squared. So, it, so that means you arrange it to be like this. Minus 21x plus what? This thing should give you what? Plus what? Forward x. So you, you, you use these two things to replace 4x. And you get something like this. 3x squared minus what? 21x plus what? 25x minus what? 175 is equal to what? Zero. You can now factorize. This, 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 this. Well, what, is, what is the common factor here? X and what? 3, right? You bring out 3s here. Use 3s to divide the things here. 3s, 3s squared divided by 3s will give you what? X, right? And 3s divided minus 2, 21s will give you what? Minus what? 7. Then, plus, common factor here is what? 25, right? Because 25 can divide itself, and 25 can divide what? 175. So, you bring out what? 25. In bracket what? S minus what? 175 divided by 25 is what? 7. S minus what? 7. It's equal to 0. You have factorized this. So, in that case, you simply do what? Correct the one of the S, S minus 7. And you get something like this. 3S plus what? 25. Bracket S minus 7 is equal to what? 0. That means 3X plus 25 is equal to 0. Or X minus 7 is equal to what? 0. The other means 3X is equal to minus 25. Or X is equal to what? 7. That means S is equal to minus 25 over what? 3. Or S is equal to what? 7. But my minus negative, you cannot have a what? A, a basic what? Negative. So this one is inadmissible, okay? We, we can't take this. But we can take X equal to what? 7. So the answer is what? 7. The answer is what? 7. The answer is what? 7. Okay. Okay, come see. You, you chose number four, right? Okay, let, let me call it. Take marker. Number four says... Okay, that's the writing. I mean, you can... Do, are you done writing? Come see. Uh, sorry, go off your please. Sorry. Who help her? Number four. Okay, come on, sorry, fast, fast, fast. Number four says, you see, Kamsi is still copying. Don't make mistake, Kamsi. See, you have, you have to be looking at, looking at what, what, what you're copying. You got to now put that X is. Is, is, is 2, where S is 7. Give a few seconds to, to finish, finish, oh. Okay, she's done. And that she's done. Clean, so I can, I can call the question for you. All right, the question says, Solve for a positive number S such that 2 raised to the power S cube 2 raised to the power S cube Take a look at that 2 raised to the power S cube minus S squared Minus 2s is equal to 1. So solve for x. Ada, you should be careful the way you 
you do this fertilization, okay? Because you can, you can leave it to error one day if you're not careful. Please don't fertilize this, this fertilization. This fertilization. Yes, the one you did here is acceptable. And this joint here now, this first step you took is acceptable, okay? Because once S is zero, everything here is zero, it's acceptable. But from here, this step from, from this step you took from here is wrong. You got one, this step couldn't give you the, the, the other one. Huh? So you should do, follow it normal, okay? This works in polynomials, the one above what? Trade degree. I'm not competing. But this thing will work, but if once you get to this one, this step doesn't, doesn't always work. That's why, watch out. That's why you got only one part. But the other part, you couldn't get it. But I used it. I used normal fertilization and got the, the two parts. One is minus one. And actually, minus one, if you put minus one here, you get what? Zero. Am I coming? But for post, the most of, of this question, they were specific. They want the positive what? They said they, say the positive, they were too, they, they were what? Specific of what they want. The positive what? The question says positive what? It says positive number X, okay? He, he, he is aware that he can, X can be what? Negative, right? But it specifically said positive number what? X. That's why you can choose that one. But what if the, the specifically say negative number X? What are you going to do? How will you do it? You're not getting what this thing you are doing. <laughs> Please. Uh, do you know why I spoke now? You are fond of that. I, I'm watching you. Most of the time, anytime you, you, you always do that thing. It doesn't work always. It can work in SO4 3, but when you go to SO4 2, it can be. Even myself, I, I, I tested it here. That's when I, I tested something here. I did. See, see what I did? I did x squared minus what? x minus what? 2. See what I did? I said, okay. This, this, right? I got this. I say this. If you do it, it's a mathematical blunder. You can't separate this. This part minus two is part of the whole equation. I'm not complicating. You can't separate it just like that. It's a mathematical. In fact, you should be sentenced to six most mathematical prison for this thing you, you did to, to, to this innocent quadratic equation. You don't divide like that and start. No, 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 no. I'm not complicating. You can't divide it. You must. Because do you know why? This thing contributed to this thing. Hope you know. So you cannot just divide it here. Please, once you get to this second degree, please follow normal what? Normal what? Fertilization. You get your question? From where? Here? Here? If you watch now, see what she did. See what she did. S is what? S minus 2s is one to what? Zero. Eh? Do, you, do you know why you, you, you have to do, 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 do this in the first place? The common factor for all the terms is what? X. That's why it worked. What, what's the common factor here? X. So she brought X out. We have S square minus X minus what? Two. That's why it works, because the common factor here is what? X. But here, there's no X. It cannot work here. <laughs> but you, but you, you, you've got the point I'm making. Uh, yeah, okay. um. So just let's note that, okay? Let's note that. Please stop using that thing. It's only when everything here is X, 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 X. There is no constant here. That's when you can now do that. Huh? What's that? Where? Here. This one. Leave that thing. It's mathematical blunder. I, I see what she did. I said, let, let, let me even see what she did. Let me, let me even throw her letter and, and see where it will really lead me. I got X here to the one. Three. It's a mathematical blunder. It cannot work. Okay, that's what I what I'm, I was correcting her. 
that you don't do things like that. This is, this is the, the step to follow. You must fertilize. This one inside here must be solved poratically. You must follow it for a, poratically, okay? Fertilize it properly and do what? Get developed what? X. I got that X is minus 1. Or X is equal to what? 2. It's two. The X has three values now. The first value is that X is 0. So finally, the answer to this polynomial now is that is X is equal to what? Three, three values. X is equal to 0, comma, minus 1, and what? And what? 2. Is it clear? So if you, if you want to test this thing now, start substitute 0 here, it will give you 0. Substitute 2 minus 1, it will give you 0. Substitute 2, it will give you what? 0. Is it clear? What's that? Any question? Okay, so the answer because they ask, watch this, watch, watch how intelligent they can be in their question. They know that you you will get a negative number as the answer too. They they are specific on the one you will choose. They say positive what number x. So the answer is what two c. Z two or one. Is two. C. Oh yeah, other comments. Fast, fast. We have two numbers remaining. Come and pick your question. Number eight. Go to the board. Take your marker. Number eight says, if one two five to base x, if one two five to base x, if one two five to base x. is equal to 20 in the to base 10. That is 2, 0 to base 10. Find x. I don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. What do you do? I don't want to do Say what you did now. I I forgot to add the way we do our thing. Uh -huh. Tell us what you did. I changed this thing. Okay. Is she correct? Huh? Is she correct? I'm asking us now, let's talk. Is, it, is she correct? You, you don't know. Nobody knows if, if, she, if she's correct. Hey. Okay, now I think she's correct. Simply move this to base 10 now. Fast. Move this to base 10. Use whatever, whatever, whatever method you want to use. Move this to base 10. And see what equation it will, it will, take, it will lead us to. Just co to confirm whether you get this equation. This, this, this is what I want you to check. Huh? You, you, you get this equation, right? So if, if you get this equation, that means she's correct because once you factorize this now, you get this. Because minus 515 is what you multiply to get minus 15 is what? Minus 3 and plus 5. Okay. 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 So the answer is what? Base 3. Because you, negative base is not admissible. So the answer is what? In base what? Base what? 3. So the option is option B. The answer is option B. Oh, yeah, Chingwe. Come and solve the last question. No, you come in. It's, it's question 7. Fast. 
Fast to just go to the board and solve case of seven. Because that's that that's the remaining option here. The remaining number here. So we can do our physics and go. You 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 will now want to make us to leave here by 6 30. Because of because of your late coming. No, dear number. All right. It says the question says if P three four four to be six minus two three P two to be six is equal to two P P two to be six. Find find what P. Let's go. Okay. She, she, she moved everything to base what? 10. Okay, this is this. Six, this power 3 is what? 6 times 6 is what? Times 6 times 6 is what? 2 and 6, okay? This one is okay. That's okay. 4. Twenty four times 4. What I, what I don't, what happened here? Okay, can you ever? Okay, 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 it's okay, it's okay. This is this, this is that, this is that, I agree. This is this, this is that, this is this, and this is that, I agree. This is this, this is this, this is this. I agree. So this one is now this, this, twenty-four. The way you combine your listing is not mathematical. Though. Please be careful. The way you combine, see how we don't jump here and this to twenty-four. Eh? Follow, follow this is step by step. Okay. It's okay. This is this is twenty-four. This one is 24, and this one is what? 4. This one is this, this one is what? This, this one is what? 6 feet. This one is 2. Is it equal to? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. 2. Okay. This is this, 108. Okay, 432. Three times that C is what? G108, CSP, 2, 432, that CSP, CSP, 2. Okay, come down here. 216. 24 plus 4 is 28, plus 108. The one that is, I agree. Minus. This this plus this is five what? Four times two plus one zero eight. Is it five four two? It's not. It's five four two. Plus two. Which two again? Have you seen that thing I'm saying? Five again. Wait, it's okay. I don't no time. Please do this. If this were the theory, this is what you see. Please don't do that right away. Please take notes. You arrange your work well. If this were to be Esther theory, this is zero because it's confusing. Two of us, it's confusing. See, you see, you just have from nowhere. You, 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 you don't five four two here. We, we, we are, where they come from? Did you get the point I'm making? Good. So this plus this is one ten plus four three two is five four two. Okay. Plus six p is equal to. There is something I want to do, I want you to, to, to note here. Remember that this minus, this minus doesn't belong to this, this thing alone. Hope you know. This minus belongs to everything here. Hope you know. 
Are you aware? Don't worry, let's continue. This mind must belong to everything inside here. So, everything you do here, if you get all the numbers without P, we'll give, we'll give you 542. This mind must belong to 542 and 6P. Are you aware? But you, you will not reflect it here. Huh? Mistake. Good. Here is what? Here is what? This plus this is 434. Plus 36P. Plus 6P. Okay? So this one alone. So from here now, you have 216P plus 136 minus what? Let's open this bracket. We have 542 minus what? 6P is equal to what? 434 plus what? 36P plus what? 6P. Do you not believe, do you not agree with me that 6P will take care of this 6P? Two of us? No, it will not. It will not, sorry. Because this one is already minus. So this is plus. It will not transfer. Let's, let's go. It cannot work. Let's continue. Let's just put everything together. So 216P, we, we collect light terms. So we have here 216 what? P minus what? 6P plus 136 minus what? 542. Is equal to what? 434. That's 6P plus 6P is what? 42 what? P. Is it true? So let's move all the P this side and move the one without P that side. Let's see what we get. This for 2P go comes in. We, we, we have, of course, this one. This one should give us a figure, right? Two of us. This 216P pro minus 6P is what? 210P, right? We have 210 what? P plus 136 minus 542 is what? Minus what? Minus what? 136 minus 542. Huh? Minus 4 what? 0, 6. Is equal to what? 434 plus 42 what? P. So let's now move for 2P this side. You have 210P minus what? 42P. Is equal to what? 434 minus what? Thank you. Plus what? 406. So this 210P minus 42P is what? Huh? One what? 168 what? P. Is that equal to what? 8 what? 40. 8, 40. P. Can this go? What, what is the answer? 5. Z 5? Confirm. Not, not approximate. You made a mistake here, and you are forcing it to be 5 here. Please watch your signs, okay? This is where your we we mistake came from. This thing belongs to two of them. Because it's, a, it's one number. Okay? So please note this point. The answer is what? Five. The answer is what? Five. Who is our target today? Who? Which other? Which one is that? Which one is that? And I can kiss off. Tell us. Without C. C, what, def what defines a star girl is this? You do, you, I'll just sit down here. I won't talk to you. I'll sit down here and watch you. Fold my hands. Wait now, wait now. Be coming down, auntie. You just solved. I'll no correction. You just solved. Do you don't go back to check? You do not no correction. You do your thing. I just come out, see what you you did, and just okay it. That's a star guy, a star boy. Which question did you do, 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 do that, Ada? So, no, 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 no. Wait, see. Is it her question? I 
that means you are questioned. You are questioned, God, God. Because someone can be here solving and you are here taking the correction of what the person is doing. Two of us. I mean, I mean you are own question. You don't understand what I'm saying. All of you, all of you did the assignment, right? What makes you a stagger is that I, you pick any number you don't even know. Two of us. You came out here. You solve it completely by yourself. You sit down. If somebody is solving and you are looking at, and you are sitting down here comfortably, you won't even know the, what you are enjoying you're sitting down here. To come and, and, and solve what the no, that, that, that do, do, doesn't make you a star girl. You pick it on your own, come out here, bam, and solve it completely. Quietly go and sit down. No noise. Just as she did. If, are you sure she didn't go back to look up in her book? If she didn't, because, because I was distracted anyway. If she didn't go back, that means, because I didn't even know when she finished. And I came out and saw it, it was okay. That's what, what I mean. Number eight is that number eight. Is that your question? Yes. Ada? Are you Ada? Is it your question? Are you sure? Yes. Which question? Let me because I know the question you picked. Okay. Okay, it's true, it's true. I can remember now. It's true, it's true. It's true. I remember now because you ask a question there. Who has someone asked a question there? You, right? I, I can remember now. You know she solved so many questions. But this is the one that made her start here. This assignment. All right. So thank you very much. At least I, I love the participation in today's assignments. So today's assignment covered law, law of indices, law of laws of what, law of and what, number basis. That's what three topics are embedded in these ten questions, and the level at which we handle it. Give me the confidence that you can do it, you can answer it if you come out in examination. All right, thank you very much for your attention. God bless you.